My name is Doug Grant. I'm from California. I'm uh, 65 years old. I retired about six months ago and I'm really enjoying my retirement. Um, I have had a very uh, varied career. I started out working for Exxon for a couple of years doing computer simulations of uh, Prudhoe Bay in Alaska. And uh, most recently I worked for the California EPA, uh, the Air Resources Board, working on uh, the California Global Warming Solutions Act of uh, 2006. So my experience here was primarily, I would say, when I worked for Exxon. I had a summer job at, uh, at Tomball, Texas, if you know where that is. Tomball is north of Houston a ways. I worked for Exxon for two years. I was down here several times during their uh, reservoir school and drilling school and production school. It's the tar sand pipeline, uh, for a lot of reasons, is just bad for the environment. It's bad for Canada. It's bad for the indigenous people. It's bad for the climate. Um, having worked in the oil industry, I know how that has a great appeal to, to be extracted, produced, and sold. Um, it's basically the extension of, a, of an old technology of energy that is not going to end unless we stop it. Hi, <laughs> my name is R.C. Saldana Flores. I'm 36. I was born in Amarillo, Texas, and I now live outside of Dallas. <laughs> So, I drive an electric car, certified mechanic, I know a lot about cars, I don't know anything about this car, but I've never loved a car as much as I love this car. And I love being able to say to my daughter, sure we can go here, we can go there, whereas I used to tell her, no, I'm not willing to burn the gas, I'm not willing to pollute the planet to be able to do that, and now, my wind energy powered car can take us. My name is Sam Avery. I'm 63 years old. I'm from uh, Hart County, Kentucky. And I am a homesteader. I'm a professional solar installer and an author. We are still at a time when the climate is pretty dependable. The seasons are fairly reliable still. The temperatures are not all that excessive yet very well be experiencing the end of that kind of stability that we've grown used to and taken it for granted. We, we haven't paid much attention to the climate because it was always there. And I don't think it's too late. I think we have time. But that we have to begin to do things to stop building the infrastructure for uh, the next 50 years worth of consuming more and more and more carbon. We've been developing ways of burning quick, easy, cheap, concentrated energy from within the biosphere, from, from uh, fossil sources. But we found that, that we're fouling our own nest with that. So for me, I, I'm not, I don't look at fossil fuels as being an enemy. I look at it as being a transitional fuel. It's just a question of when do we get started? When do we get stopped? using the wrong kind of fuel. And the way to do that sometimes is to simply stop it, to simply create a, an obstruction, a barricade. 